fixed it. Okay, y'all. Hey, it hurt. We'll, blah, 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 blah. We're, we're back. We're back. We were on for about two seconds, and we were sideways, so we had to leave and come back in. So when y'all get back, hopefully find us again. Hi, what you baby. Doing? What are you doing? Hazel. So y'all let me know if you're here, say something, tell me where you're from or what you're doing tonight. I guess I know what you're doing. You're watching us, hanging out with us. We're doing this live virtual happy hour, y'all, and tonight's drinks are all going to be, well, I don't know how many we're going to end up making in the, but the main thing today is three ginger beer drinks and they all are going to come from our cookbook tonight. So I will um, type out the recipes after this is over right down below so you have the exact recipes or I did post them on Instagram. I took a picture of the page of each one in the book and posted it in my stories. So that is another place you can go and grab these recipes as well. And also, my dog is like really wanting my attention if you, right if now. If you go to mysouthernketokitchen.com and all capital letters ginger is a discount code to get a discount on the book. Tonight. Oh awesome. So good all weekend. Awesome. So yeah, our, we have, if you did not know, my name is Erica. This is my husband, Jason. We have a YouTube channel here, obviously called Time to Shrink. But every Friday we're having a time to drink. Yep. And sometimes they're live, sometimes they're things that we have oh, yeah. pre-recorded. Um, but over COVID, we wrote a cocktail book, a low carb cocktail book. We had a lot of fun creating it, y'all. And it is for sale at mysouthernketokitchen.com. It will also be linked down below. I had all this set up and everything written in and linked. And then we had technical difficulties and had to start a new live. Jackson, are people joining? Or are they at the old one? Uh, yeah. Okay. Y'all please. Oh, comment. shoot. Your monitor isn't here. on the new one. <laughs> oh, my monitor's on the old one. That's why I don't see anything. Okay. Y'all. It's like it's our first time doing oh, it, this. It really but it's is. not. It's terrible. Oh my gosh. All right. So, so just bear with us for a second. What we're doing, gotta get my monitor so I can see what y'all are saying. What we're doing is we got a series that we're gonna do over the next few weeks with the holidays coming up. There we go. Um, ginger beer. Uh, this is the Gosling's ginger beer. It's not cheap. Like a six pack's gonna cost you a little bit of money. But how much is a six pack? Do like, you even know? You know? I ordered them off of Amazon, nice somewhere time. between eight to ten dollars, maybe even eleven, depending on where you live. So for six drinks, you know, for six sodas, that, that's kind of expensive. But well, you get three makes... to six cocktails out of a um, out yeah. of a can, and I just six think six cocktails out of one can. There are some that no you can do two ounces. Yeah, there's some drinks you can do two ounces. Um, and so, like, yeah, you're probably not going to get six out of most of them, but you maybe could, three. in theory, you could. But just be real, it's probably three. Okay, three, three to four. Yeah. Depending on how much you use. You could just drink it straight up by itself. It's so good. Um, ginger beer is not all created equal. We've no. tried a lot of different diet ginger beers. If you're doing low carb, you need the diet version. And the only one that we really, really can stand behind is this diet Gosling's. Yep. So. Yep. But the idea is like holiday parties right. coming up, you get yourself a ginger beer, a case, uh, not a case, like you get yourself a six or a ginger beer, and then you're not just doing beer and wine with a couple of different liquors like vodka and rum or whatever you have. People think you have like this high custom cocktails that you're, but you're really just making They're high balls of ginger easy. beer. And like, and you just do whatever you want with them. So, yeah, Lindsay <laughs> says she loves ginger beer. I do too. I love ginger beer so much. Ginger beer and rum well, is amazing. The ginger one. beer and vodka and a Moscow mule but, but is listen, so good. What you don't know, ginger beer and bourbon is excellent. Nobody ever does ginger beer and bourbon and whiskey. And it is. We got one tonight that's really tonight good. That uses bourbon. Y'all, bourbon is my fave. But love bourbon. I want to make you well, a mocktail. Tequila is my fave. I want to make you a mocktail because okay. you're not drinking right now. Yeah. So if y'all are so, new to yep. what? No. I'm I know. If y'all are new to us, I am taking a little hiatus from alcohol. I am doing an elimination diet right now and kind of eliminating a lot of things out of my life for a short period of time, for like a month, and then slowly I'll add stuff back in. So I am going to have, I guess, a mocktail. Yeah, I guess Jason's going to gonna maybe make me a we're mocktail. Gonna something here. Do you want, I got blackberry, and we're going to use this apple um, kombucha. kombucha. Do you want lime? You probably don't want lime in it. No, we haven't. We haven't played around. We're just playing around. I don't know. I have some simple syrup that I made in my low carb cocktail book. I do teach you how to do different okay, simple syrups, but mainly I use allulose and water. 
I do like one to one or sometimes I'll do a little more out of yellow spin water and then I flavor it with whatever I want. I flavored it with loose leaf chai. So I got like an organic, really good quality loose leaf chai and I made this chai syrup. It's really, really good. It does not have to be added to alcohol. You could totally add this to your coffee or to your tea and make a chai syrup into those kind of drinks. So it definitely can work for things other than alcohol, the simple syrups. My kids love my simple syrups to add to things. That simple syrups are not um, only exclusively for alcohol. Lindsay says bourbon. Can't wait to try this drink when I can drink again. Yeah. Alex from West Virginia. Hey, Alex. And Marla and Helen and Carol. Looks like we've got some people here tonight. That is so awesome, awesome y'all. Yeah. It's, it's so fun to do this. We have a lot of fun with this. And if you're just coming on, Jason did say that there is going to, if you would like to get a copy of our book, it is going to be on sale through the whole weekend. It's mysouthernketokitchen.com is where you get it. And if you do... Ginger, ginger, all, all capital caps. Letters. Ginger, all caps will give you the discount. And I will put that in the description down below when we're done with the video. I had all of the yeah, description the all perfect, scoop. and then we had to start I over. Fixed it. So. I fixed yeah. it. Ice scoop. Get the ice oh, scoop. ice scoop. So, anyways. All right, we're playing around making you a mocktail. We got chai simple serve. We teach you all kinds of shit, simple serve methods in the cocktail book. We got whatever this kid, kombucha is pink lady, pink lady apple. apple. I don't know. I got some blackberries, a little bit of lemon juice. We're just trying to make something for Erica since she's eliminating right now. Yeah. And truthfully, um, the ginger beer is probably not something that I should have, but I'm going to just have a little bit. Ginger beer is medicinal. Yeah. It has a little bit of um, artificial sugar ingredients that are not ideal, but I'm... I'm gonna try this out. We'll see. We've never made this mocktail yeah, before, I mean, so it down I may home. or may not be drinking it. We shall see. I definitely have. I definitely can just have some water or something, or just drink on this kombucha. I've been trying to do kombucha just like a little bit each day, just for the good probiotics because I'm on an antibiotic right now. So, anyways, we're gonna make three ginger beer cocktails tonight after we make this mocktail. So, what is your favorite thing to do with ginger beer? Do you have a favorite gin cocktail that uses ginger beer that you like? Do you like Moscow Mules? Did you even know that they made diet ginger beer that you can have your ginger beer or cocktails very easily by just replacing the ginger beer with the diet ginger beer is you really can easily make cocktails with the ginger beer your face is looking better thank you Whitney it is getting so much better and today I did put some mineral makeup on so this is not just my skin I don't I just put a, tiny, a little bit of mineral makeup on um, bare minerals like powder but it is getting so much better. Today's the first day in a while. Actually, since last Friday, when we filmed last Friday, I put a little bit of makeup on. But it is w night and day better. So thank you for noticing, Whitney. You'll drink that. It's work. It's it's getting there. It's a work in progress. <clears throat> Try that. So tonight we got the three. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, see, this you, is you, so good. I want to taste it. This and the thing with Moscow Mules. And those kind of drinks is you don't really even taste the alcohol yeah. in them just to yeah. start with. So that's I pretty good. It's yeah. good, right? Yeah. So that's cool. That's a win. That gives you something to be sipping on. We're making three from the cocktail book. I had it up here. I'm just going to hey, use man. the recipes from it tonight, actually. And like I said, if you're just joining us, we're going to have the, this week and then the two weeks after, we're doing all kinds of different right. ginger this is a series. Beers. It's going to be a series. Different ginger beers, buy yourself a sixer of Gosling's, people come over, you have all these different options. With they like sell it at no... most liquor stores. Yeah, a lot of I liquor mean... stores, even Walmart will carry this, a lot of Publix, a lot of grocery stores, it's very easy to find the diet yeah. Gosling's. And we have it linked in the book right there, yeah. there's a link to you to Amazon, you can order it. Probably yeah, right a cool thing about the e it being an ebook is, is that so many links and then you click the link and it'll take you to Amazon or wherever to get the product that I'm showing you. So that's a cool thing about an ebook and it's also great that it can just be on our phone. That's what we do when we're looking yeah, at the drink or yeah, whatever. Really. He has the iPad today, but I can I use my phone to pull it up. He also can print it out, but I find that just having it on my phone it works really, really well. Way up north in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Are the leaves beautiful and all right, I think we're going to start with this Dark and Stormy. I know we've made this before. It's one of our favorites. It's a Blackberry Dark and Stormy. 
You can skip the blackberries and just make it a traditional dark and stormy if you want, but we've got them, so we're going to make them. They and also help make it a really pretty color. Yeah. It makes the drink a really pretty color. And like I said, like, you know, the whole idea, you have people over, you put some blackberries, and then all of a sudden they think they're getting something special, and it took, like, no time whatsoever, so. There's our highball glass. There are a couple different ways you can do this. The cookbook says combine the berries, the lime wedge, the peppercorns, and a shaker, a shake and muddle. Um, I think, like, as we've been doing this, I think that making these in the in the pitcher is actually a better, better option. Okay. Yeah, I really do. So if you can go either way. You can go either way. If you have a shaker, you can use it. If not, I, I, I kind of think the pitcher is um, a little bit better because you can put the ginger beer well, into these it. These cocktail pitchers, again, it's another thing that's linked in the book that you can just click on it and go to find. But these are really not that expensive. They're very pretty and they're relatively inexpensive. I can't remember the exact price, but I'm thinking like 20 ish or something. May even be more like 15. They're not that expensive. Of course, you get to pay a a lot of money for a real crystal one, yeah, but, but this works. It works fine. It works. And it says lime wedge. I'm going to do two, one lime wedge in the book. I'm going to do two lime slices. Again, just a little trick you get from watching. Um, just kind of helps the muddling. If you put these on top of the berries, you kind of muddle everything together here. And... and that didn't work, huh? <laughs> what were you trying to do? You know how you like protect the, what you're modeling with the lime a little oh, bit? Oh yeah, that didn't really work out. That's more for like the mint and stuff because of the bitterness and everything. Okay. Alright, the other thing you definitely want to add to this is some peppercorns. Um, I know it seems like a really strange thing to add, but you add about four peppercorns in there. It makes such a difference. Like when we first oh. created this drink, we didn't use the peppercorns and then I decided to throw it in there and try it out. And it, it changes the whole game. So you could use black peppercorns. You could do pink peppercorns yeah, you if you had that. But that little bit of pepper really makes a huge difference. A little east to have yeah. much color, but there are spots that are beautiful. Gotcha. Now, the trick to the Dark and Stormy is the rum that you use. And I like this Hamilton's. It comes in a lot of different types or styles. Um, I think in the book we call for a Demerara. This is the uh, black rum. Which I prefer the Demerara, but Jason. I prefer really the black the rum. Black. <laughs> so we're going with that tonight. If Erica were drinking, we'd probably go with the Demerara. Yeah. Y'all, Hazel is crazy tonight. Oh my gosh! Hey. Every time I film, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know. She she just gets very sad to not be getting all the attention. That's our dog, Hazel, if you're new to us. We have a lab review with Hazel. We had a very scary week with her. She got into some medicine. I had to stay up an entire night with her, which was so tough, and she was completely fine. We really dodged a bullet. I think she has a stomach of steel somehow. Is she a Labradoodle? I was talking yeah. with somebody about that the other day. Is that what you're doing a Labradoodle? she's a Labradoodle. We were told she's a Labradoodle. Supposedly that, she's a supposedly, Labradoodle. Supposedly. You can do tests to find out exactly, but I don't really care. So. Every time I film, you can hear my husky howling at me. Yeah, Whitney? Yeah, they, they don't like it when we start looking at the camera and talking to the camera instead of them, right? I mean, isn't everything all about them? Huskies are really beautiful. I love the color that this is from the blackberry. Are you going to put a blackberry in the drink? I usually put a couple in there. There you go. There you go. You need me to do that? No. Low budget. This is a low budget effort tonight. Yeah, it's a top with some volume. This is a low budget effort tonight. <laughs> or you could just scream at them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. All right, there you go. Like I said, I like the pitcher a little bit better. Just pour it. I already have the um, ginger beer in there. That way you're not right in your glass. You can make it in your glass if you want, but then you get all the crud from the blackberry. Yeah, which so, I don't enjoy. There you go. See all that crud that stayed in? There you go. It's so pretty. I love this drink. It's so it's pretty. Drink. And it's I'm enjoying my mocktail, which is also very, very good. How did you make this? If y'all are not drinking alcohol, you can make a mocktail with your ginger beer. You can add any kind of syrup to it. You can add kombucha. You can add sparkling. Yeah, I think the kombucha. 
kombucha is a good choice because yeah. it gives it a little bit of bite. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're so having a little bit of alcohol, alcohol maybe. A little bit. So what's in what's in my cocktail? Oh, I didn't. Um, I don't you know. Don't blackberries. <laughs> I don't think we skipped the lime. I think I did four blackberries. We skipped the lime. Uh, probably about a half ounce of the chai syrup, simple syrup. Simple syrup. You can get normal simple syrup, whatever. Um, and then this kombucha we found in the refrigerator. Pink lady apple kombucha. Pink lady apple. And then, and then ginger beer. Ginger beer. Well, it's yeah. very good. I yeah. like it. I like it. So there you go. How's the dark and stormy? It's so good. In the cook, good? in the cocktail book, just don't um, make it. Like I said, you can shake it, you can stir it, whatever yeah. you want to do. I like the darker rums. You can use whatever rum you have in the house, though. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Yeah. Keep in mind your spice rums have some carbs to them, though. Yeah. We don't have any spice rums, though. I'm just saying for people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you have, like, spice rums or flavor rums, they generally do have carbs. Yeah, and that's a frustrating thing about alcohol is that they're not required to put the macro count on the back. So you don't really know. But the way you know is the percent alcohol. So if the percent alcohol is very different from what a normal bottle would be, it's because they've added more stuff to it. Yeah, so, normal bottles, 40% alcohol. Right, you so you're, you get less than that. Like you get the kettle wine. Hi, Hazel. Hi, baby. Um, <laughs> she's not usually like this, y'all. She usually like lays down. It, no, she does this a lot, in, lot right now. Yeah, I do, but I'm talking about just in general. Hi, baby. Yeah. Yeah, she's a super chill dog. So chill, except for when we turn the camera right. on. So. All right. Let me find the next yeah, one. Yeah, Marla, you need to try it. It is a really, really good. It's so different than a regular ginger beer right. drink. Because generally when you think ginger beer, you think Moss Carmel, or at least I do. So it was cool to come up with this dark and stormy. Obviously, we did not invent the dark and stormy. That is a recipe. We just kind of modified it a little bit with the blackberries and the peppercorns and our choice of rum and stuff like that. Our, um, this iPad is here, so I can't find it. <laughs> You're looking for the next drink? Yeah. What are we making next? Uh, whatever I find. <laughs> whatever you find. Okay. Whichever one comes up first. I can't even remember. Oh my gosh, are these the vodka things? Yeah, these are the yeah. vodka. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go with a mule. Are we going to make a Moscow mule next? Yeah, we're going to make a mule. If you see us in the summertime, go back to some of ours. We do this strawberry basil. Is that what it is? No. What is it? Strawberry mint? Strawberry, strawberry mint. Strawberry mint. Oh, the strawberry basil is a great combo, too. too. We do a great. strawberry mint one. It's in the book. Actually, it's right here. It's so good. This is like what sparked the mule revolution in our house because Erica didn't think I she liked like vodka this. and she didn't think she liked mules. I but love this she does. So what we decided to do and oh my god, our technology is oh my gosh, crazy tonight, y'all. If you were here in the beginning, you know what Yeah, we had to start it oh completely. Oh my gosh, I just lost. You <laughs> lost it? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Wrong. So anyway, I I'll just tell you, we um one of Erica's favorite drinks is the spicy margarita, so we tried to make a spicy mule for her. Um, so yeah. that was really cool. So that's what we're going to make yeah. now. It's this is really good. Yeah, yeah. jalapeno, pineapple, pineapple, jalapeno mule. Right. I am going to pull it up. Because... My favorite still is the strawberry mint, but this is really good as well. Yeah, and again, this is like vodka, ginger beer, and then whatever you want to put in it. Like, right. it's so simple. So, like, so like simple. I'm saying, you get this gosling, you have people over, you got a couple different liquors. Like, you like, don't even have to make it. All of a sudden, you have like a dozen drinks. Or right. anything exactly. like that. Or, you know, like a lot of our tequila drinks, we use the triple second, which you have to create to make a low carb triple second. Next week's episode, there's going to be someone with a triple second. Okay. So, all right. Come back for that one. Definitely. But what we are doing is we're going to do a series over these next few weeks tonight. We're going to make free ginger beer drinks, and then we're going to do some pre recorded of two different shows that have three ginger beer drinks in them each. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of ginger beer ideas with y'all. I think it's kind of fun to like pick a theme and show you a bunch within that theme and then move on. We try to structure our lives in a way that we're doing something like that, you know, like rum drinks or vodka or whatever. And Jason thought it would be cool to do this ginger beer series. So that's what we're going to do now. And he's going to yep. teach you how to make a jalapeno pineapple Moscow, Moscow mule. mule. All right, so... Um, Step one is you need a Moscow Mule mug. Half that old Moscow Mule mug. Um, we're going to... Oh, let me clean out the shade. And even better if it's been in the freezer and it's... Yeah, we can do that a lot very easily, but... Yeah. 
Store these in the freezer if you have space. Yeah, we, we, we actually did just cleaned out. That's great true. Space. Right now it's plain. Great storage episode, right? All right. So um, we've got Hi, Terry. two ounces of vodka. I'm just reading straight from the book tonight. Four slices of jalapeno, two pineapples, half an ounce of pineapple juice, and four ounces of ginger beer. All right. All so right. that's what we're looking at. Again, super easy. I just uh, honestly, I cheated because we were only making a couple. I just got this. Dull pineapples right here in 100% juice. So I'm just we're just doing that, like, because we don't yeah. want a ton of pineapple juice sitting around our house. Like Jackson would drink it, but well, even Cindy, then, Cindy, Cindy. Sorry, I always say that wrong. How, why can I not say Cindy? Cindy is one of Jason's faves because she introduced him to the Colorado Bulldog, and he Absolutely. loves that drink, girl. Oh my Pine gosh, Cindy. episode, so good. Yeah. All right, so we're going with, what did I say? Two pineapples, trying to keep this low carb. If you follow our recipe, it is 3.3 net carbs. Um, Always remember though that depending on what product you're using, yeah, the carbs can change a little bit, just so you know. I mean. Y'all, this is the best tool it ever. It is a really cool tool. You just kind of, it takes out it's the guys. It's a jalapeno de And it has like a knife on it so you can get your slices off of it too. Well, that's really just for going down no, in. It's fine. You think it's supposed to be a knife slicer? I don't think so. It doesn't seem very sharp. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's absolutely. how you're supposed to do it. It's no. how you take the top off of them. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay. It is really? a cool tool, but I don't think you're using it correctly I there. I think I am. <laughs> Okay. All right, so what, I'm just reading out of the cookbook tonight. Mm. Vodka, the jalapenos. jalapenos good. Um, jalapenos. We're going juice right here. Here's my pineapple juice. What did I say we were going to do on this? Half an ounce. Half an ounce of pineapple juice. Four jalapenos, two blocks of pineapple. And we're just muddling this up. Um, I do like taking the seeds out of the jalapenos. Some you can make the drinks like you if can you make. If you want it to be that much spicier, you can leave the seeds yeah, in. But then you get the seeds and everything. Well, aren't you gonna? No. You're not gonna no. strain it. Hmm. Oh. You get all okay. the pieces in this one. I don't want really to drink pieces of jalapeno. You're not drinking pieces of jalapeno. I yet. am if you don't strain it. Oh Although I'm not drinking it tonight. But your next request is a low carb Irish cream drink. I'm sure that would totally be workable with the coffee liqueur, right? Yeah, probably. And right. Co the coffee liqueur, some syrup flavoring that's got the Irish cream flavor in it. Yeah. And cream, I would think. I would think if we made like an Irish cream flavored syrup, then we could just use that. I would think that would work. So, so, so. Cindy, Cindy, I always want to call you Sydney, and I don't know why my mouth just forms it that way. I apologize. Irish cream is made with whiskey. It's made with whiskey? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't use coffee liqueur in it? Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. So it'll be whiskey cream and then some kind of syrup to make well, it. Well, it's a type of liqueur, isn't it? No, but if you did flavored syrup mixed with cream, you would come up with the flavored liqueur. I don't know. We'll add some whiskey, it, maybe? I don't know. I'm just talking out loud. We'll look into it. Jackson looked it up for me. We'll look into it. I guess I think of Irish cream as going with coffee, so that's why I was thinking you could go combine it with a coffee liqueur, but I guess that's not right. Jack says it's not right. It's funny because that's my nickname. Huh. Awesome. Here you go. We don't have a huge pineapple piece. Yeah, you usually use a much prettier <laughs> pineapple piece for that. <laughs> that looks really silly. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah, just put it in. So, did you talk him through how you were making it, or did you just do it? I mean, drink it. You didn't say anything about making it. You're supposed to, we're like on a show that is teaching people how to make a cocktail drink, and you just made it. I'm and pretty so sure I what, read the ingredients. Huh? And then that's it, in the beginning, you read the ingredients, and that was it. You're supposed to say, like, I'm going to put this in, I'm going to put that in. Like, I have no clue how you made this. I said you were talking the whole time. But <laughs> well, you should have waited. <laughs> You put the ingredients in your bottle. What bottled. ingredients? <laughs> How did you make this drink? He doesn't even know, y'all. He forgets. I muddled the jalapenos and pineapple slices with some pineapple juice in the cocktail shaker. Okay. 
Then I added the vodka and muddled it a little bit more. It's right there in the direction, babe. I know, but they don't have the direction. Go to the Instagram them. page. The, it, we, it's right there. Apparently, you need to pull Instagram up and YouTube at the same time because he's not, not really directing. Oh, my gosh. He is wearing a Hey Y'all Hey shirt, though, y'all. These are always available in our Teespring store. We have some fun shirts. A few different Hey Y'all Hey. There's a time to shrink one. I keep saying I'm going to make a time to drink one, but we haven't done that yet. I really want to because I want one for us to wear right. when we tape. I think that would be cute. When we tape. That's how old we are. Video tape. <laughs> record. Pretty cool. Is record the correct word? Hey, I say film, yeah. so... None of those are really correct, though, are they? I mean, we're not record is. filming. I guess record is right. Oh, my gosh. This is really good, but I wish I could put some. No, you don't. What you, do I do? You, don't even, you won't even taste it. But I would feel it. Oh, you would feel it. I would feel it. I haven't had alcohol in a while, y'all. Like I think that... Um, Three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. That's a while for me. None at all. Three weeks. Yeah. yeah. I think that alcohol is not something I'm going to need to really eliminate fully. I think red wine may be an issue from what I'm hearing. I have this new rosacea thing going on, y'all, that I've never had before or didn't know I had before. So, yeah, he's a teacher. <laughs> He gets too excited about a drink creation. <laughs> yeah, he is a teacher, or he's a teacher by trade now. He's a consultant of some sort. What do you do now? Consult. Curriculum consulting. With, so, working with teachers. Um, yeah. All right, what's next? All right, next is... We were only going to do three drinks, so this is going to be a short one. It's already 8.30. Next is a quarter horse. Quarter horse. Oh, this is a good drink, y'all. I love the quarter horse. Yeah, quarter so horse good. good. The yeah. quarter horse, remember, we gave it to Parker. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, Parker liked that one. All right, so here's the quarter horse. Um, I don't know. It's not a super traditional drink. You may never have heard of it before. Um, it's got bourbon, lime, uh, of lime juice, simple syrup, the ginger beer, and then bitters that you like. So again, I'm going to deviate a little bit from the book because in the book we say a shaker, which is fine. I think I'm going to make it in the pitcher tonight. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know why you say you're going to do things from the book and then you don't do what I tell them, what I teach in the book. Well, that's, that's why you're watching. So you get both. You get the best of both worlds. All right. Whatever. Um, you get the tricks this way. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to read the directions. Everybody pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to read Can the directions. I just need to walk them through it. Bourbon, lime, and simple syrup into your kitchen. Okay. So two ounces of bourbon. Two ounces of bourbon. We use bourbon. I guess you could use whiskey. Uh, rye would really be good in this. They're all kind of a whiskey there. So whichever you like. Half an ounce of lime juice. We always use fresh squeezed lime. We never substitute the store-bought stuff. Although I did just hear somebody um, say Boozy Ketones was talking about oh, yeah? one of the, uh, an organic lime juice that they like from the can. Or okay. it's, it's in like a glass bottle, like the lemon juices well, that we get. Boozy Ketones make some so good stuff. They do so. make really good stuff. So I'm thinking about checking that you out. It's, the problem is you have to get like six from from Amazon. Oh, really? So it would be like a lot of bottles uh, of lime juice. But it would be nice to have yeah. if we like it. Yeah. But if we don't, that's a lot of lime juice to have. <laughs> so I didn't I haven't pulled the trigger on that one yet, y'all. Okay. All right. So we have our bourbon and our lime. And an ounce and a half of simple syrup. We use the swoon. Um we, easy to buy on Amazon. Easy to buy on Amazon. It's just as good as anything that we made. It costs the same amount of money, so yeah. we just went for the convenience of the swoon. We like it. It has that velvet, velvety mouthfeel to it. Right. Um, so we just stick with the swoon. 
So that's what you got there. Um, Did you I, have the simple syrup? Simple syrup, yeah. Okay, so now we need. Now we need to put some ice in ice. it. Ice. Maybe. Thanks, out. Gary. So give it a little stir. Now you would normally you would pour this over ice. I'm gonna add a block to it, but before I do that, I'm gonna add the bitters on the top, and then that way you kind of work it around with the ice and the glass and everything. You don't have ginger beer in that? Yeah, we have ginger beer in this one. You put the ginger beer in last. Using two kinds of bitters? Yeah, Pachos and Angostura. I never know how to say that right. I always say Pachos. It's Pachos. Pachos. It's Pachos. Pachos bitters. We both said it wrong. Alright, he's getting his big ice cube, y'all. There we go. And we just buy molds and keep this in the freezer. Should I stir this? With the ice? No. No. Ginger beer. Use words. Ginger beer. Give a little top there. Do I stir it or you just leave it like that? Alright, try it out today. It's good. Like it? Oh my gosh, that's good. That is yeah. a good one. So there are three completely different ways to use ginger beer, y'all. These drinks remotely so resemble brutal. each other in any way. They use this same ingredient, but they are completely different from each other. Like, night and day different, these drinks. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. You had three completely different drinks out of the ginger beer. They're really, for the most part, they're just highballs. You got your alcohol, you got your soda in it, and then you're putting other stuff. The, you know... The dark and stormy is something that everybody can like. The rum, especially if you have a good quality of rum, right. you can serve that. Uh, Moscow Mule is also very versatile. It can do a lot with the different flavors. But if you want something complex that's really going to impress your guests, this is it right here. Right. I mean, there's just so then, much different flavor going on in this thing. Also, everything that we made tonight requires no pre-game or pre-making like making syrups or making special right. liquors or anything like that. None of the stuff that can make drinks a little more complicated. So you totally can make low carb drinks with stuff that you just buy and put together. A lot of times we use our syrups or our, our low carb triple set that right. we make or our infusions or things like that. Just that can be great too, just but you also can just simply throw stuff together super, super or, simply. You know, if you want to have like a little cocktail bar for a party you're having over the holidays or something, you got a couple, couple of your liquors out, you got all these different things, let mm -hmm. people go in there and Make what they want. Yeah. Maybe you print out a little card or something right. and here are some recipe ideas or how that is. I, I just sometimes think will batch even the Moscow Mule, my strawberry Moscow Mule. I'll batch everything except for the ginger beer. Yep. And then all people have to do is pour some of my pre batch stuff and then pour the ginger beer on top of it. Who, who will drink the drinks you have made so far? Jason, I'm not drinking right now, so I'm having a mocktail. Come on over, Cameron. You can do it. Yeah. Truthfully, sometimes the drinks that we make don't get finished. Sometimes we have we pour some of them out. It depends on how much we make. Like if we make a bunch of drinks on a live, we drink maybe a couple of them, and the rest go down the sink, which is I know super wasteful, but you know, just how it is. When you're creating cocktails and trying lots of different things, sometimes you just can't drink them all. But yeah, he'll probably drink most of these. Or two all three of these way. are in the cocktail book. Use all capital letters ginger at mysouthernkeetakids.com. Get a discounted rate tonight. So check that out. What is the discounted rate? Do you know? Uh, yeah, it's $2 off. $2 off? Yeah. Okay. So all right. I, well, I absolutely love this. This is the quarter of what your favorite of the three. And, and, you know, you just kind of work it. You can work it like any other bourbon drink. And it just it tastes so good. Yeah. 
It's really, really, really good. Yeah. And then the mules are always like really refreshing. And then the dark and stormy is just really, I don't know, it's different with the peppercorn, but I really, really yeah. like it. I like it. It's a good drink. Versatile. And then we made your mocktail. Yeah, we've got, we've got my mocktail. Hazel, where'd Hazel go? She's down here. She mm. finally laid down. Chilled out, huh? She finally chilled out. All right, so before we hang up, hang up, like we're on the phone. <laughs> Before we are finished, does anybody have any drinks or questions, things that you would like us to try? Is Just let us know if there's something we can try right now, or we can put it on the list of things that we're going to work on. Let us know. Otherwise, we are just going to go ahead and finish this out. And <laughs> you barking at me now? Come back next Friday. We're going to do three more ginger beer drinks. And then the next Friday, which will be Black Friday, I guess. Yeah. We're going to have another last last episode in the series. So Yeah. So it'll all be ginger beers. Yep. And then those recipes will be linked down below. All three of these recipes are in the cocktail book. But I'll also, also write them out down below when we get off tonight because they'll be in the description. Okay. I was going to say go to Instagram. Well, you could do that. You could go to our Time to Drink Instagram. We'd love y'all to follow us over there if you don't already. It is its own page. I have my time to shrink. I posted some stuff over there too, but I also have an Instagram called Time to Drink that we have started so that we could kind of keep it separate. So you can always go over there and get stuff there as well or ask any questions or anything that you have over there as well. So thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We had a, a lot of fun creating these. I would have had more fun if I could have drank some of them, but anyways, Jason's going to enjoy them. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you, Erica. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we will see you again next Friday. Although on this channel, I'm posting almost every day right now. I'm doing an elimination diet, and I'm sharing my journey and just blogging throughout my day. So please just come follow me and see what I'm up to and see how this elimination diet is going for me. Something chocolate for the holidays. Okay. Yeah. Holiday drinks Holiday are definitely drinks on are our list. After Thanksgiving is right? over, we'll be... Going yeah. into holiday drinks. Y'all have to understand, we live in South Carolina. It's it was it's in the 80s. 70, 80s all this week. So we're although our house yeah. is completely holiday, it's I hard to get into holiday y'all. drinks. It I really did. is. Bye, it Lizzie. really is. Bye, Sydney. 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 Oh my gosh. Please come back, Sydney. Yeah. Please <laughs> forgive Eric. Forgive me. All right. Cheers, y'all. He cheers y'all, but not me.